just like when Harry met Sally, when Elvis met Nixon. <laughs> this is unimportant. Guaranteed to not change your life. This is the Unimportant Podcast. What is up, Internet? This is the Unimportant Podcast. My name's Anthony. That is Joe Bob. I think it's the first time you've called people Internet. Well, that's where they're listening. Yeah, but right? they're real people. This no, the people on not... the internet are not real people. <laughs> they're just internet, <laughs> internet folk. You're an internet person. <laughs> this is internet discrimination. Uh, so, what are we talking about today, Elvis? So before the internet, uh, pre th- there's there's a photo that we're gonna show. I'm I'm gonna put somewhere around here. Uh, that looks to be designed in the internet age. Okay. But I kid you not, it is real. Okay. Elvis Presley mm-hmm. and President Richard Nixon met in the Oval Office mm-hmm. uh, because that's what you get to do when you're Elvis. <laughs> yeah. So check this out, right? Elvis is uh, obviously a super famous musician, uh-huh. the king of rock and roll. To, to kids, like to, to people our age, they kind of know Elvis Are as... We ki- I don't think we're kids <laughs> anymore. I think that ended like almost two decades ago. <laughs> so to younger, to the millennial crowd, right? Elvis is this this kind of rock legend icon. Yeah. I wasn't really aware of how weird Elvis was. Presumably, how presumably Elvis has lawyers. Uh, how weird Elvis was, <laughs> presumably, uh, in his everyday life. Yeah, it was nuts. Yeah, he was definitely kind of a druggie and a weirdo, right? Yeah, had no idea. So Elvis, Elvis one day, he, he's he's at his home in Memphis, right? Um, his wife and his his uh, dad are, are irritated about it. It was post-Christmas mm-hmm. because he had spent $100,000 buying 32 handguns and 10 Mercedes Benzes. And his, and his family was irritated with him. What? Because... In the, you buy ten Mercedes for thirty two thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, a <laughs> <laughs> hundred thousand dollars. But um, so he he bought a ton of guns and a lot of cars just because he had the money and wanted to. Anyways, well, might as well. You're Elvis. Why not? His uh, his wife and dad were upset about that. So Elvis, uh, in a fit of rage, goes to the airport in Memphis and jumps on the first play that he gets he could and ends up going to Washington DC uh doesn't like it there flies to so he's just crisscrossing the country flies to Los Angeles what? when he gets to Los Angeles he has this epiphany right so Elvis uh, famously liked collecting badges police badges he toured the country playing like, different shows and and he would just get them from yeah because you know if you're a police, police department security guards whatever yeah and i think back then there was a lot less uh less scrutiny on the rules yeah. uh with you know police officers you know you, you say, hey lost my badge like you know whatever right not, not gonna be the end of your career yeah. so it was like to collect badges uh the reason that he liked collecting badges is because if he he figured if he had enough badges, it would protect him from gun and drug charges if they were ever brought against him. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. No, 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 no. I've got badges. I'm with you guys. I'm with you. Don't worry. I'm undercover. <laughs> so Elvis. I'm not taking them. I'm just selling them. Wait. <laughs> so Elvis wakes up one day in Los Angeles uh, and decides, I need a presidential badge. I need a badge from the president. What? <laughs> yes. So the he, pre- does the president have a badge? So he gets on a plane. I don't think the president has a badge. He gets on a plane and flies to D.C. And at 6 o'clock in the morning, Elvis and his assistant show up at the White Hold House. On. Can we talk about this assistant for a second? <laughs> like, it, like, like, what is this guy going? Like, he's either just as crazy... <laughs> Or just scared to death to lose his job. Like, I, yeah, sure, we'll go to the White House. I, I can imagine that if you're Elvis or one of these, you know, m- mega famous iconic right. people's assistant, you kind of just go, yeah, that's just that's a day just, in the life. That di- we decided we needed a badge from the president. Now we're in D.C. Like, the assistant definitely knows <laughs> the president doesn't have, there's no presidential <laughs> badge. Like you don't get that on inauguration day. <laughs> <laughs> Time to pin the badge on the president. So Elvis and his assistant show up to the White House at six o'clock in the morning, right, and request to see the president. Which, 
You can do. I guess you're allowed to request I'm sure, to see the president. I'm sure anybody can go knock on the door. I, like, not knock on the door, but you can yeah, you ring can, a bell outside somewhere <laughs> or something. You can request to see the president. I can't imagine anybody actually gets <laughs> actually in. Gets in. <laughs> so but they, when it's Elvis, you actually bring they, go, they go see the president at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, no luck. Secret Service turns them away. They go back to a hotel. Imagine being if you're, you're Nixon and you get woken up. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir, Elvis is here. He says he has an appointment. <laughs> For a badge. Where do you keep the badges? <laughs> so they go back to the hotel and around noon they get a call from the White House saying the president would like to see you. <laughs> because that's the way life works when you're a celebrity. Uh, yeah, well, and, uh, to me and you, that sounds ridiculous. But to Elvis is, you know, he's like, well, of course. Drugged out mind. Like, oh, yeah, about time. I've been yeah, waiting yeah. for six hours. Yeah, so yeah. Wait, 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 what's, what's taking you so you sleep long? Really, re- you're sleeping really late, Dick. So <laughs> Elvis, in his big purple flamboyant high collared suit walks into the Oval Office and meets the President, what? Commander in Chief of the United States what military, leader of the free world, Richard Nixon, who famously Richard Nixon was not a pop culture guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty by the books, yeah. you know, straightforward, straight shooter kind of guy. Uh and so he I'm sure he's aware of Elvis, but he's he's kind of yeah. thinking Ah, the kids like this guy. We might yeah. as well let him in. Yeah, <laughs> see what's up. And so Elvis goes into the White House and asks for his badge. He wants a badge from the Federal Narcotics Administration or something. And Nixon goes, Can, "Do we have? Do we have a Federal <laughs> Narcotics? Whatever." <laughs> so in the process, Elvis is like tinkering around with stuff on his desk. Nixon sends an intern to go print off a certificate and find Just, some sort of badge. Uh, uh, Judy, just get him a badge. <laughs> I don't care. Just get him a badge. <laughs> Meanwhile, going, who does this guy think he is? <laughs> I'm the president of the United States. He can walk. I need a badge from this. <laughs> so, and so they give it to him. They give him a, they find like a little trophy and a certificate and they hand it to Elvis. Elvis goes, thank you very much. He leaves the building. Uh, Elvis has left the building. <laughs> He goes and, He goes walking out of there with like a little <laughs> soccer participation <laughs> trophy from the president. And, and, and they go, I don't know what just happened. But you see the picture too. Nixon is kind of like shaking his hand like, ah, okay. <laughs> and Elvis is like kind of half smiling, just a glazed over like I'm high on anything I can get my hands on at the moment type of look. And, and it's just the most bizarre picture. You can find it at unimportantpodcast.com and also we'll put it up in the video somewhere. But yeah, that is, uh, you know, apparently if you're that level of status in American culture, you can kind of just go meet the president. Kanye did it like a couple yeah. months ago. I'm telling it's you, if, still I'm the, a thing. if I'm the president, I'm coming up with a badge. I want a, ba- I want <laughs> a, a presidential badge. Presidential badge of whatever. Black suit, red tie, badge. I think you get the Medal of Freedom, right? That The president can give those away pretty willy-nilly. This is True. interesting. This has nothing to do with... No, but I, I want like a badge. Like, like badge number one for so, president. I understand. So, the Medal of Freedom, right? Yeah. The Medal of Freedom was given to Martin Luther King Jr., uh-huh. influential of course. Uh, American of course. hero. Deservedly. Right? Also, uh, I'm pretty sure Gloria Estevan got one. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Tiger Woods has one. Several golfers have had presidential <laughs> medals of freedom. A lot, so, so the thing, I, I just think it's funny. There's no differ, differential. There's no real. Rosa Parks, and Mar, Mar, Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, and a guy who hits a ball really well. Like, that's yeah. what we're talking about yeah. here. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Presidential badges, medal of freedom. I, I vote for badges. <laughs> I, that, that's a proposition I can give a heart. <laughs> I think regardless, this is not important. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the podcast. Hopefully you didn't learn anything important. We know we didn't. Go ahead and hit subscribe if you want more.